this short tutorial, we're going to learn how to configure the Ethernet IP site of a ProLynx communications gateway. So inside the ProSoft Configuration Builder, we're going to right-click on the default location, select Add Module, right-click on the new module, select Choose Module Type, and choose the ProLynx 5000 series gateways. We're going to scroll down until we get to the 5202 DFNT MCM4 and select OK. We're going to expand the file tree on the 5202 DFNT MCM4 gateway select the Ethernet configuration, and change the IP address to something that's relevant to you. I'm going to use 10.1.2.215 with a net mask of 255, 255, 255, 0, and a gateway of 10.1.2.1. Now we'll go back and right click on the module, select download from PC to device, select your appropriate COM port, and click download. Once the module is done downloading and it's finished rebooting, we're going to move over to RS Logix 5000. We're going to set up a timer, a read message instruction, and a write message instruction to read and write values from the gateway. We'll start by selecting a new project. Go to File, select New, and then select your appropriate controller. I'm using a 1756L61 controller, revision 19, and we're going to name it a DFNT for the purposes of this training. I'm in a 7 slot chassis and it's in slot 0. Once we've got that finished, we're going to go to the controller organizer, right click on the 1756 backplane and select new module. In the select module window, we're going to select the 1756 EMBT and give it a name, EMBT, and we're going to change it to the appropriate slot number. Mine's in slot 6, so I'll select slot 6. And we're going to give it the IP address of the EMBT. Mine's 10.1.2.202. Go ahead and open up your controller tags, and we'll hit the Edit tab at the bottom. Let's go ahead and name this first one Data, with the data type of an integer and a count of 100. We'll name our second controller tag read message, the data type of a message. Next we'll do a write message with the data type of a message. And then we'll do a timer and we'll make the data type a timer. Then we'll go to our main routine. Our main routine we're going to add a timer. and examine if open bit and then we're going to add another rung we're going to add an examined if close bit we'll add a message we're going to use this message to write values to the internal database of the ethernet IP gateway add another rung Another examined if open bit, and another message instruction. We'll use this message instruction to read values from the internal database of the Ethernet IP gateway. Timer, we're going to set it to 1000. We're going to set all of these bits to timer.dn. So when the timer is done, these bits will either open or close depending on their current state. Now we're going to tie the message instructions into the write message controller tag and the read message controller tag we created earlier. I'll we'll double click on the box next to write message and this will open up the message configuration window. We'll choose the message type as SIP data table write and our source element is going to be data open square bracket zero close square bracket. That will be the first word in the data array that we created earlier for a count of 10 elements and our destination element is going to be int underscore data open square bracket zero close square bracket. That's going to be the internal database of the Ethernet IP gateway. We'll select the communication tab and select our path as our EMBT. 
comma two for ethernet, comma the IP address for our ethernet IP gateway. And then we're going to do the same thing for the read message. We're going to set it up as a SIP data table read. Our source element is going to be int underscore data, open square bracket zero, close square bracket. Our number element is 10, and our destination element is going to be data, open square bracket 20, close square bracket. Communications path is going to be the same as earlier. We're going to browse to the 1756 ENBT card. Select OK, comma 2 for Ethernet, comma 10.1.2.215 for the IP address of the gateway. Now that we're finished programming our ladder, let's download the configuration to the processor. We'll select Download. Now let's go to our controller tags and expand data. Let's enter values in data 0 through 8. We'll leave 9 alone for now. Then we'll go back to the ProSoft Configuration Builder. Right click on the module and go to Diagnostics. This will bring the Diagnostics screen up. We'll type question mark to bring up the main menu. Then we'll type D for the database view. The database view should populate values 0 through 99. And the first nine elements should be populated with the data that we entered in our data controller tags. And go back to the Logix 5000. We'll change that last value in data 9 to 9. And you should be able to see it change down here at data 29. We'll go back to our diagnostics window and PCB. Hit S for show again and you'll see that the 9 showed up in element number 10. I hope you have enjoyed this brief tutorial on the Ethernet IP side of a ProLinks Communications Gateway. Until next time, happy training!